You're watching Rules of the Game with Bill Crew, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Albert Sporting Goods. American Legion Post 323, All Glaze Equipment Rental, Capabilities, David Wabacher Attorney, Eagles 767, FCA, Fowler's TV, Freedom Marking Strategies, Grand Lake Roofing, Guaneri's Pizzeria, Jackalope Stash, Larry Schaff Auto Sales, Laura Yelton State Farm, MHS Alumni Foundation, Miller Funeral Homes, Minster Bank, Plus One Professional Real Estate, Writer Rooters, Roots Pub, St. Mary's Foundry, Sean Barnett Electrical, Spee's Chiropractic and Wellness Center, Spring Street Storage, TSC, and Varsity Lane. Hello and welcome to Rules of the Game with Bill Krug. I'm your host, Zach Farrell. Each and every week we bring you local official Bill Krug here to talk about some of the clips from the Rough Riders win, uh, hopefully, usually win, on Friday night. Uh, Bill, thanks for being here. Thanks, Zach. Glad to be back. We've got 11 clips from the Rough Riders' big victory against Van Wert on Friday. Before we jump into those, though, I thought maybe it'd be a good opportunity to talk a little bit about the pregame with the refs and the coaches. Um, we see... Sometimes there's a little group meeting and, and you talk to the, each coach. What, what happens in that meeting and, and what gets discussed? Okay, the, the first thing we do when we come out of the locker room, we go, we go meet with the head coaches and, and we discuss with the head coach, uh, you know, what do you want to do if you win the toss? Because we don't want, we don't want a team to have the ball both halves because sometimes a kid will say, we want to play defense and we say, no, no, you want to defer. And they say, no, we want to be on defense. And we say, yeah, we know you went on defense, but you actually want to defer, so you have the choice in the second half. So we, we go over that, then we go over who the captains are. And then uh, whatever side, uh, if, it's a, if it's a visiting coach, it's usually the head linesman will be on his side, and the head linesman will give him a card and say, here's, here's the officials, here's, here's I, who I am if you need to talk, you know, you know, come to me, and uh, so we we go over stuff like that. And is there anything that you see on film that the other team does that you want us to be aware of, or something that you do that you want us to be aware of, so we don't blow the whistle too quick on something? So is that where they talk about maybe a trick play? Exactly. Okay. You know, if you uh, if they have a uh, a Statue of Liberty, we you know be careful not to blow that thing too quick. And so yeah, that that's what that's for. We always had a uh, play that you pretended like it was a incomplete pass, but it was actually a, a lateral. 
Yeah, and, that was yeah. and, and that's exactly what we would, we'd want them to tell us about so we, so we don't blow that as an incomplete pl pass and let it, let it play out. That's yeah. neat. Um, when you give them that card, is that what the coaches use to grade you, or is that, is that done in a different way? Well, they know who we are then. It's, okay. it's got all our names and the positions we are. And do the coaches grade grade officials? I didn't know enough. Well, the thing. they used to, and I, I think they do, but I, I'm not even sure what the grading system is anymore. So I, I'm I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, I think unfortunately with the shortage of officials, you kind of kind of have to take what you can get. Yeah, and, and yeah, really. Uh, the grades are nice, maybe for improvements, but uh, it's tough to find officials. So it's not like you're gonna kick anybody out necessarily <laughs> yeah. or anything right. like that. Well, we're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, we're gonna look at some of the clips from the game Friday night. We'll be back right after this. You're watching Rules of the Game with Bill Crew, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Albert Sporting Goods, American Legion Post 323, Auglaise Equipment Rental, Capabilities, David Wabacher Attorney, Eagles 767, FCA, Fowler's TV, Freedom Marking Strategies, Grand Lake Roofing, Guaneri's Pizzeria, Jackalope Stash, Larry Schaff Auto Sales, Laura Yelton State Farm, MHS Alumni Foundation, Miller Funeral Homes, Minster Bank, Plus One Professional Real Estate, Ryder Rooters, Roots Pub, St. Mary's Foundry, Sean Barnett Electrical, Spee's Chiropractic and Wellness Center, Spring Street Storage, TSC, and Varsity Lanes. Welcome back to Rules of the Game with Bill Krug. I'm your host, Zach Farrell. Thank you to all our sponsors. We wouldn't be able to bring you these uh, great clips and these shows without them. We're going to jump right in here. This was a holding call on St. Mary's Bill. Um, we're going to watch it here. I think it was on the guard. So it's a sweep out here. Guy comes across, and uh, the guy's kind of taken down right there on his hips. Um, did you, were you able to see that? Yeah, I, I saw it, and uh, it, I can't see any hold unless he wrapped his arms around him. It, it looks almost like a tackle. Yeah, uh, yeah, he did have his arms around him. You could, I could see that right arm, and that it looked like a tackle. So... Yeah, that would be been holding. It's a little hard to see from that angle, but in the in the Rider Nation station view, we were able to see that his arms were around his waist pretty yeah. bad. Yeah. So we weren't surprised that that was called. Um, next call was an offsides call on um, St. Mary's. The defenders a couple times did a nice job of timing the snap, but not this time, according to the officials. Well, they those two wing guys, they, they're looking right down the line, so uh, they're – they have the best. They have a better look than anybody else, and they, they know if they're offside or not. Yeah, but and St. Mary's is very aggressive about it, and it, and it worked a couple times, and it didn't work a couple times. Um, and unfortunately, it was a couple times in a row here. So I think this one was actually the outside linebacker on this next clip. Um, I think I think 32 on the top of your screen there. Yeah, I saw him. Yep, he he did. This one, I could tell he was he looked off sides where the, the previous one, I'm not sure, you know, we didn't have tougher. that. Yeah, a little tougher to tell. Yeah, he's across that white line almost, isn't he? Yeah. We just did show a clip in the Bo Fry show this week uh, where he timed it perfectly and, and made a good play. So um, that's one of those things the St. Mary's coaches said they're going to be aggressive and yep. uh, they're going to try to try to time it and, up And there. Coach Fry, Coach Bo, he, he says to me all the time, he goes, we're the most penalized team in the league, and why is that? I said, well, you are a little bit more aggressive. You're, you're, you're trying to hit that snap count at the exact time, and, and that shows two plays in a row. There's two penalties that maybe shouldn't have happened. So. Yeah. Well, this next play was a kickoff, and um, it was a big potential uh, play because the kickoff returner fumbled the ball. Fortunately, Van Wert did not recover it, but there was a block on the back called um, anyway. So um, I guess that wouldn't have made a difference if Van Wert would have just declined it probably if they would have recovered it. But um, right. if you can see right there, if we play it again, right where the ball was picked up off the ground, 
You can see kind of a Van Wert player coming through, and I think he gets pushed in the back there. Right there. Yeah, yep. It. He looked like he had his hand right in the middle of his back. And uh, how, do, how does a player like that avoid the call? Does he just put his – try to put his head in front of him or get his body in front of him. Yeah, you, you've got to move your feet and get in front of him and uh, not let him get by you like that. And we got try to keep your hand on the side rather right. than in the, in the back. we got the same play here from the end zone view, so take a look at that. You can see it was very windy and rainy that night, but right see, there's yeah. that, that hit. Did you see how he got by him? Yep. Yeah. This next play um, was uh, before I, – I, I was wondering if you knew what was going on here. So before the ball was snapped, you can see him discussing – almost discussing where it was, where it was um, located, whether it was a first down or not still. So there was a first down called, but the line judge came in to talk to the official. It, it looked to me like he was pointing back a yard, didn't it? It did. And I – Can we he, replay that from the beginning? And what, what I would say probably happened was, you know, he's coming in saying, hey, he was down back here. And the white hat, the referee is probably saying, well, we've already moved the sticks. We're going first down. You know, we're not going to move them back. So, yeah. I was curious what was going on there. That, it's, that's it's what confusing. it looks like to me. Um, it's always tougher to make those uh, line calls when it's on the logo like that, too. Um, well, this next game was – or next game. This next clip was uh, a no, no pass interference was called. It was a deep ball thrown by Aiden Meinerding. Just wondered if you thought that it was a good, clean coverage here from the defensive back. Yeah, it didn't look like there was any separation, like any, any contact to make separation. Um, you know, and he it, – it looked clean to me from right there. Yeah. I, I think that's a good no call. I think we might have an end zone view of this one as well. Yep. Because it, it was a neat end zone view here because it's kind of right in your camera. Okay, great. Yeah, a great look here. Yeah, there's, there was nothing there, was there? Nope. It, it was a good defensive play. Good good play from the Van Wert guy. Good ball from Aiden Meinerding too. Yeah, it was right there, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, the next play um, <clears throat> was a, just an, another offsides call against St. Mary's. This one was a little bit uh, – I think it was just the – if we can play it again, I think the defensive lineman just lined up wrong, and when he put his uh, – he just jumped a little he bit He jumped, there. Yep. yeah. Yep. There was one – I'm not sure if it was if I included it, but I thought he uh, just lined up wrong and then didn't realize it until it was too late. This was interesting. Um that was that was one where they jumped, but didn't didn't think that they jumped far enough. But uh, this was a, a catch along the sidelines, and it's really tough. We don't have a great angles, but um, wondered if you could see if you thought that he actually got possession of it by and, and got his feet in. It's very tough to see here. It looked like he was still bobbling it, doesn't it? That's what it looked like from our position in the press box. You hate to second guess the guy who uh, is right there. Who's right on there? The line. Yeah. He's got a better look than I do from here. So, but it does look like it is being. It looks like it's completely loose too. It, it's not like he's. It looked like it popped right out of his hands when right. he grabbed it again. I think we have an end zone view of this too. Yeah, it might give us. Yeah, another angle of it. Yeah, it looked like the ball was up in the air. And yeah, we, and we could even see it from the press box. So that's why I was. We were really surprised that it was called a catch. Let's watch the end zone view rolls out. Yeah, that's tough to see. Tough here. to see right there with the water spots on the lens and everything. But sometimes the guy that's closest to the play can't see his feet and the ball, you know, so he might have needed a little help on, on that one. Every now and then I see one of these plays, and um, I think that there should have been a holding called. And I was wondering your thoughts right there on uh, on the end on uh, on, on ninety on ninety three yeah. for St. Mary's. 
You yeah. see, he tries to work his way inside, and he's just sort of being grabbed right there by the by the guy. Now the guy did keep his hands inside his body, so maybe that's why he didn't get called. But and see, <clears throat> the guy that would probably catch us would be this umpire right here, or the or the wing on this far side. But the, since the point of attack was the opposite side, it's going to be tough to pick up, and uh, for that umpire to catch. You know? Yeah. This next play um, was a big fourth down, and um, I think that uh, Shawnee thought they maybe got a first down, but it was – it's hard for you to see the spot from this angle. Yeah. But did you uh, – are you able to tell at all whether this was proper spot or not? They did call him short. Well, and, and I know what I, – <clears throat> watching this, watch the – Watch the official up there, the head linesman. Watch the first thing he does at the snap. He gets to the, to the line to gain, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what he's supposed to do. And then he worked his way back to where he saw the guy go down. So he did it properly. He followed he, the right mechanics. He, he followed the right mechanics in, in officiating that play. So I'm going to say that he, he had the spot. And then this was just an interesting one. Um, last, last clip, there really weren't too many controversial calls, so we didn't have, have a lot here. But – this one, uh, you know, the kick returner's knee goes down as he's catching the ball. That's always a tough one in high school football to remember, but um, you can kind of see right there. But just, yeah. I guess, just reminding everybody, it doesn't matter where you 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 catch it. If you, if your knee's down when you catch it, you're down. You're down. Play's over. That was huge for St. Mary's because uh, you know put them up, put being word up against their. Goal line, St. Mary's defense made a huge play on the next one, got a, got a fumble recovery at the one-yard line and, and punched it in. So big momentum change. And for, to, for the receiver there, it was a cold, windy, rainy, wet night, and he's making sure he's making the catch. And, <laughs> and, and that was kicked into that wind. Uh -huh. so, so first off, amazing kick from, from St. Mary's. Uh, into the wind because we saw punts into the wind that didn't get that only went 10, 10 yards or 20 yeah. yards. Great kick uh, from Brady Triplett into the wind and uh, and and to get it all the way down to the, where he got it. But yeah, that that kick returner, it's probably hung up in there in the air and, and did some weird things. Oh, absolutely. He's just trying to catch it. He's trying not, to yeah. Not let it go. Yeah, in our game, I think there was three balls that were kicked into the wind that the receiving team didn't recover. Wow. Because it, it went so far and then blew back, and then the, the front two lines, they're ready to block already, and it lands right behind them, and the kicking team comes in, and uh, I think they got two of them and didn't get the third one. But. Well, we're over halfway through the season. Any, any, um, anything coming up regarding playoffs or in, in, in crews or anything like that? Any uh, plans? Now, the, f the first two weeks of the playoffs – will be your original crew. Okay. They're just taking uh, your own crew and sending – it's just like a two-week extension of the regular season. You're going to be working with your own crew. And then the playoffs – you'll get put on a playoff crew uh, and from week three on. Gotcha. But uh, you, you have to fill out a, a questionnaire at the beginning of the – like during the summer this, to say, yeah, I want to, I want to do that. I want to uh, be a – on a playoff crew and uh so if you don't fill that questionnaire out then you just have those first two games and then you'll be done well we'll talk about that more i'm sure as the season goes but thank you bill for being here and, and uh looking over the clips hopefully have some more clips this week from a big rough rider victory against shawnee uh, we'll see everybody next week thank you thanks for watching another episode of rider nation station Help us help you by subscribing on YouTube or following us on Facebook.